Hello and welcome. This is Oli from Clockwork Time. The website is clockworktime.eu. You can see follow us on Instagram or just uh, send us a mail. Today we are going to do a review of this uh, beautiful vintage Junghans and it says uh, Wehrmachtwerk. So this is a 17 jewel vintage watch, Junghans watch from the actually 70s. As I was able to find out this is actually this model was produced actually in 72, 71, 72. So for that matter the uh, quality and, and the overall like uh, look of the watch is uh, pretty nice. The actual dimensions of this watch, I would say a few data about it. The width of the watch, uh, without the crown it's 35 and with the crown it's uh, 37. The thickness of the watch is uh, sitting 10.5 millimeters high, which is actually nice for the for the era and uh, lug to lug is 39 with the actual lug width uh, 18 so the watch itself as you can see the watch face does have a kind of uh, hairline sunburst which for the era is uh, pretty nice the glass is just a plexiglass it's nothing of a like acrylic or sci-fi this this was the standard like plexiglass for the era so the the as you can see the plexiglass is like uh, super clean all the all the watch around was like uh, super nice in super nice condition the back of the watch is actually a stainless steel uh, back plate but overall this is a this is a brass watch with uh, chrome in it so you can see the chrome is all over the watch in, in excellent condition actually there are like a little place near near the legs where, where this chrome starts as you can see to come off but that's like I would say the overall quality of the watch is like 95% or so uh, there's like a little scratch but uh, that's uh, maybe it it's a no date uh, version and inside uh, we have a manual wind Unitas uh, 6325 movement if I'm not mistaken with the uh, sub second at the 6 o'clock so it's not a centered uh, second but it's a sub second as you can see all the, in the indexes are like in super nice condition and actually the nicest thing is the six o'clock mark is uh, kind of like cut off <laughs> because the sub-second dial is uh, uh, there so that's why, why you can see the U but it actually was the marker of the era and the the funny thing is that you can see the dial says Junghans and Junghans is uh, a German watchmaking company but here down I'm not sure if I can zoom it it says Swiss made so how come a German watch was made in Switzerland? So around the 70s when the Cold War was like uh, in full motion the uh, company somehow like there was a huge demand of uh, it, this is actually the details I, I found so the company had to actually outsource the the case and in and, 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 and the uh, watch dial in some cases because uh, the demand was so high that they were not able to produce as many so this is this is the one so actually the German watch with a Swiss made dial this is kind of a I would say uh, this is this is a rare piece so the price will go in this case I would say around it starts around two hundred dollars uh, so in this condition it might be even more I don't know yet this one is from my private collection so I'm not really uh, I was not really looking for the price I might sell this one I don't know yet because this is actually a pretty nice like piece you can see how nicely it fits on my wrist so this is actually a dress watch 
nothing of a sports watch or something it's it's actually a dress watch so i uh, just took it out from my personal collection and uh, made this video because these kind of young hands watches are like the marker of the era and and they're like super nice you can see the sub second it's moving like nice uh, so so this was me Zoli from uh, Clockwork Time please subscribe and hit the ring bell and enjoy what we will bring next cheers bye